more likely to live another five years if you have insurance than if you don't. Think about that. That that is what it means to have health insurance. That's rhetoric. Set We're listening to the so-called the president of the United States of America. And how you're you get cancer, you better off by not even getting any treatment than if you do and go get it. You're going to have health care. This is life or death stuff. Tens of thousands of Americans die each year just because they don't have health insurance. That's called fear mongering. Millions more live with the fear that they'll go broke if they get sick. And today we begin to free millions of our fellow Americans from that fear. That's a lie. Already, millions of young adults have been able to stay on their parents' plans until they turn 26. Millions of seniors already have gotten a discount on their prescription medicines. Already, millions of families have actually received rebates from insurance companies that didn't spend enough on their health care. So Let me go ahead and butt in here for a second. You know, if you wanna if you wanna live longer, first of all, number one, you stay away from those modified foods called GMO that causes cancers and tumor. You grow your own garden. Uh, hey, I passed a, a church. There's probably about seventy something people that continually attends the church, and not one of us are on prescription drugs. So you tell me. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. There's probably not another pastor in America that could probably say the same thing. There may be a handful. But if you keep doing what the system is doing, you keep going out here buying this stuff in these stores, um, and, and the way that they sell it and stuff, you don't do no detoxing or do no natural herbs and stuff, you're guaranteed to, to, to die a horrific death rather than just going to bed quietly. I mean, anyway, this is some more rhetoric. See, we still talking. In the past three and a half years, our businesses have created seven and a half million new jobs. Just today, we learned that our manufacturers are growing at the fastest rate in two and a half years. Yeah, they're growing at the fastest rate in two and a half years in China, in India, outside of this country. Yeah, the only jobs that they had. Have y'all people have noticed when you go to McDonald's, you got 70-year-old grandmamas that are working at the front register, at the back register, and on the grill. Have y'all noticed that? Those are the jobs they're talking about they've added. Huh? See, it's all political rhetoric. It's rhetoric. Listen to this. There are going to be some glitches in the sign-up process along the way that we will fix. I've been saying this from the start. For example, we found out that there have been times this morning where the site's been running more s slowly than it normally will. The reason is because more than one million people visited healthcare.gov before 7 in the morning. To put that in context, there were five times more users in the marketplace this morning than had ever been on medicare.gov at one time. You people, you, you got to understand this. America is sitting along about 360 million people. One million people calling in out of a 360 million people populace is not that much. But it sounds good though, don't it? It sounds good. Anyway, more of a read between lines from Pastor Dow. Listen. That we had expected. Consider that just a couple of weeks ago, uh, Apple rolled out a new mobile operating system. And within days, they found a glitch, so they fixed it. I don't remember anybody suggesting Apple should stop selling iPhones or iPads. Man, let me tell you people something. You know, every three to six months, they roll out a brand new phone. I mean, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5S. Then they come out with brand new operating systems, which I told you people, don't jump on that stuff because most of you people lost all your contacts and everything else. He's using Apple, trying to compare Apple, uh, a business that runs in the profit, compared to a broke government. I mean, that is just crazy. <laughs> to millions of hardworking Americans. I want Republicans in Congress to know, these are the Americans you'd hurt if, we're, if you were allowed to dismantle this law. There ain't no American difference between Nancy Republicans and, and Democrats, brother. So Y'all need to know that. There is no difference between Republicans and Democrats. This is political grandstanding and stage plan. What they're doing is they're using reverse psychology to try to manipulate the people, to try to get y'all to want this, that y'all beg for this Obamacare stuff. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. And remind you, it's not about health care. It's about shutting the government down. It's about stalling these pigs to make sure that they don't tack a couple more trillion dollars on and sell it on the back of your children, your grandchildren, and now your children's children, 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 children. That's what this is all about. Don't make you think it is not a debate about 